Hey guys, Puppy Kicker here. Uh, since we've already got the plow mount and everything done, uh, I've got my son's mower set here, but uh, I'm waiting for some pillow block bearings. I've got to get some of those. Um, but for now, we're going to put that on hold because he's got some bad grades in school and, well, if he wants to work on his lawnmower project, then he's got to get his grades up, so... But uh, we're going to start a new project. But first, uh, let's stop and give a thanks to the new subscribers. And uh, thank you to every one of my other subscribers, people that's been watching my video. God bless you. And Well, without further ado, here's my new subscribers. All right, guys. Now then, we'll walk around here and. Uh... All right, guys. Sorry for the wind, but there it is. It is a uh, Murray. It's just got a little 12 and a half horse motor on it. Uh, it is not a wide body. There's a difference. This one from the middle of it roughly right here over to the other edge is only 28 inches and a wide body is 31 inches but this is going to be the racer uh i'm either going to use this body i know i'm definitely using the frame but we're not going to use the rear end the front end but uh like i said i'm either going to use this body right here or walk up here to my big old mess or I'm gonna use that old Murray hood uh, there's the bottom of the grill there's the dash and there's the fenders so uh, we're gonna let y'all vote on that I've also got the, the footboards for it uh, both footboards so we're gonna let y'all vote on that to see which one we use, either the newer style body or the older style body. But anyhow, first what we're gonna do, we're gonna start out by uh, we're gonna build some spindles. That's what we'll start off with. I've never built spindles before. Um, I've been dreading trying to build these things because I'm afraid they're gonna be really, really hard to build. But, you never know unless you jump in there and just knock it out and see what happens. So, without further ado, let's get inside the shop and try to build some. Alright guys, here's what we're doing. I'm going to show you what I've got. I've got two of the uh, grade 8 5 8 bolts by 5 inch. Alright. I'm going to be using some quarter inch by inch and a half cold roll steel flat stop I've got locking nuts a few washers what we're gonna do oh I also got a uh, it's a black uh, gas pipe it's for, for gas line uh, but it's a connector a nipple whatever and this is what it looks like and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the threads off of it like that I'll cut it down to the size that I need but first I've got to build I'm gonna call it my spindle hanger uh, we've got to have two more pieces coming up on each end then I'll drill a hole uh, in both of them 5 8 on this end and 5 8 on this end that way my spindle bolt can slide through there and the gas line will have another bolt welded to it at a 10 degree angle and that's why we'll hold my wheel on and it slides we'll say this is the spindle thing all right and pretend we have two plates one on this end and one down on the end with five eighths hole drilling them it'll slide through there go through the pipe and the other 
the pipe will have a bolt welded on it, like I said, at a 10 degree angle. And yeah, <laughs> so let's uh, let's get busy building this spindle hanger. Hanger. All right, guys, real quick here. I've already built my first one. This is what we're going for right here. This is a spindle hanger. All right, what I'm trying to do is this bolt. If you can see, the pipe is straight. The bolt tilts down. That's the 10 degree angle that I was talking about. What it'll do, it'll be inside of here. This bolt goes all the way through it. And you put your nut on this end down here. And then whenever you cut your axle, we'll cut it at a positive 10 degree. This would be, I'm just going to call this one a negative 10 degree. So if I've got my axle cut at a positive, and this is a negative, what it'll do, we'll say the axle's right here. You'll turn it in like right there. If you'll notice... Now that's straight. And your axle will be at a 10 degree down here. So, now that I've showed you what it looks like, uh, we're going to build the second one. Alright guys, if you'll notice I've got my piece of uh, cold roll flat stock marked here. Uh, we'll cut this off. This is just under 3.5 inches long. It's just, I mean, it's really, really shy. Let me show you here. Maybe a sixteenth of an inch, maybe, if that. But anyhow, I'll probably get corrected on that measurement. But but yeah, we're going to cut this off, clean it up, and then we'll make the next two pieces. This one and this one. Alright guys, I've got my pieces cut out. And uh, my drill press is messed up so we're going to use the handheld drill I'd rather use the drill press but this is a 5 8 drill bit but we're not going to start out with 5 8 start out really really small and then uh, work your way up if you'll notice I've already got an indent right here on my uh, end here what we're going to do is drill this out, then we'll take the other one here, we'll put it on top of it, square it up, and we'll mark it, and then we'll put it underneath of here and go through with this drill bit to help make another mark on this one. So, let's start this. Fister there. Yep. Easy peasy. Let me squeeze it. Alright guys. Here's how I usually get my stuff square. I use a T-square if that's what you want to call it. I got this edge clamped or this piece right here clamped up against this. That way I know it's straight with this edge. And I got this one up in the corner and this other one up against it. So it's all nice and true. So now I'm just going to tack weld it. Let me get my gloves and my helmet. Turn on the welder here. Sorry guys, I thought I was recording there, but I've already got it setting up in here. I'm just going to slide this bolt through here.
tag right here. that cleaned up just a tad now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our pipe like this to go in between here so uh, let me get this measured and then we'll, we'll cut it all right guys now then we got the pipe cut as you, as you can see got the uh, pipe inside there with a the bolt now what we're gonna do is we'll pull this back out that back out of there and if you'll notice I've got my t-square set up there and I'm take this pipe and I'm gonna set it right there roughly in the middle of that line because let me show you here I've got my thing here protractor set at 10 degrees and this is how I made my other one all right, set it at 10 degrees, and I've got a line drawn on my floor. So what I do is I take this spindle right here, and I put it with the spindle in the middle of the, of the pipe, or the line. And then I'll take my bolt that I'm gonna use. I've got the nut on the other end of it to keep it level when I set it on the floor. Let me, uh, Prop you up right here. And what I'm going to do is I'll line this bolt up and uh, put it up against. That's my 10 degree angle that I was talking about. We're just going to take this other one and also lay it on top of it. And as you can tell, I'm both straight. Now, we're going to take this and we're going to attack weld it. So that way I can get a, a really good full weld on it. Alrighty. Now we can go clinch it. I'll be right back. Alright guys. Now then. Here's the, the first one that we made. And then here's the one we just made. So what I'll do. Side of here and we'll slide down the side of there and we'll take our bolt well actually uh, let's see one way or the other anyhow the bolt will go through there slide through there and you put the nut on the end of it here of course it'll get tightened and then there you have your spindle Easy peasy, nothing to it. Like I said, I was, I was so overthinking this and thinking it was a whole lot harder than what it really was. But man, it's actually easy. Uh, I'll spin you down here and I'll show you what I was talking about. That is uh, cut at ten degree. And if you notice what I was talking about, putting the uh, bolt at ten degrees. Whenever you weld that on there, if you'll notice, it's solid. Or it's, I'm sorry, it's straight. See there? Now you got a straight line. Now whenever you turn, what that does, that helps make your tires in the rear bite down and helps it turn a lot better. So, but yeah, that's how it's, uh, that's how it's made. Uh, I've done quite a bit of research on Facebook and stuff and they've helped me out a lot. And they said this is this is the basic setup that you want to go with 
Now the other end of the axle down here will get a another centigree cut the opposite direction. So let me uh, let me figure out how to do this. Or well, we may get a the lawnmower strip today. Uh, probably put the peerless 820 in there. That's what we got to do is get everything mocked up so I know how long to make this front axle. So yeah. Uh, if I don't come back with another part of this video, uh, actually, I think we'll just call it good. We'll call this uh, the front, uh, uh, we'll call this how to make a front axle for a racing mower. I'm straight up at the woods where I love to stay. It's that country white boy that you love to hate. Pushing them four wheel drives because we love some mud. And when we party, we ain't stopping till the sun come up.